Not much today, but we now got a third critical trigger for every overdressed nation. So let's begin. But first, cards from the last few days. We're gonna start off with Dragon Empire with some Eugene cards. The first one being a rare, Twin Strike of Dust Storm Orlando. Grade 1, AK Power and Skill is Axe Soul. If your opponent's rearguard was retired this turn, cost counter plus 1, call this to rearguard. Eugene has a good number of soul charge, so getting this off shouldn't be that hard. Especially with second skill where auto rearguard. When your grade 3 greater vanguard attacks, cost put this to soul, choose one of your vanguards, gives plus 5 key power until the end turn. So basically the idea is you're gonna be swapping it back and forth from soul to the field. It's overall not bad for Eugene. But the next card, a rare, Capture Festival, which is a grade 3 normal order, and it's skillless. Choose one of your vanguards. Until the end of the turn, it gets this ability. Auto Vanguard. When your opponent's rearguard is retired during your main phase, draw a card. Eugene has multiple retires in a turn, and each retire you make is a draw with this card. That is very nice for Eugene. With those extra pluses, it really helps out a lot. So it's a definite must play, especially in Premium's case, we could talk about those Kagero related decks. And then for some Bastion support, we're gonna start off with a double rare, Cloudy Heavenly Insanity Barag, grade 3, 13 power and skillless. Auto when placed on rearguard, if your hand is 4 or less, cost card boss 1, look at top 5 cards of your deck, choose 1 grade 3 from among them and call it to rearguard. Now this is definitely good on Bastion because you're going to be playing a bunch of grade 3s. My only gripe is that you have a 4 or less card hand restriction. If it wasn't for that, I would say it's a must play. But the next one is a rare and it's a must play because it's Protector's Pride, which is a grade 3 set order and you play it by discarding a card from your hand. And its ability is Count Order Zone, all your grade 3 rearguards get boosts. Dark Strain Dragon, you have been replaced. Thanks to this order card, you now have effectively 15k boosters in Bastion because Bastion gives all your grade 3s plus 2k. So yeah, it's a must play in Bastion because it has no cost for the boosts. And then to a blaster card, which is a rare, Knight of Severe Punishment, Gade. Grade 2, taking power and skills. Auto, when retired from rearguard by card ability, look at top 3 cards of your deck, search for one blaster from among them and add it to your hand. Put the rest of the bottom deck in any order. It's just nice retire fodder for Phantom Blaster Dragon, if you're playing the blaster variant of the deck. So hopefully we will get more good stuff for blasters in this set. And now for Gravidia and Brantgate. Our first card being a double rare, Gravidia Stunnel. Grade 2, tank your power and skills. Count Rearguard Guardian. If your drop zone and order zone has a total of 5 or more set orders, this card gets plus 5k power and 5k shield on your opponent's turn too. Nice for being a 15k beat stick, but it's also very nice that it's a 10k shield because you're going to be playing a lot of meteorites in this deck which all have zero shield. So every extra shield really helps in this deck. And then we got Gravidia or Grio, which is a rare grade 1 with AK power and skills. Auto Rearguard. When this card attacks or boosts, if your order zone has 3 or more meteorites, cost Soul Boss 2, Counter Charge 1, and this card gets a spiky power until the end of turn. You have Soul Charging for every meteorite you activate. So that Soul shouldn't be much of an issue unless if it's late game where you're near deck out. Now, so far, it didn't seem Counter Blast is much of an issue either, but if I were to play a Counter Charger, I might just play Godzilla. But it's also a 13k attacker, so it is debatable because every attacker really helps with this deck right now. And now onto the Tuesday stream. First, we got a turnabout manga promo. Exotic Dragnal Armor. Grade 3, Dragon Power, Force, and its skills. Auto Vanguard once per turn. When this card attacks, cost Counter Blast 2, Soul Blast 1. If your opponent's damage zone has 4 or less cards, choose one of your opponent's vanguards and deal 1 damage. If you soul blast an overlord while your opponent has 3 or less damage, deal 2 damage instead. Trigger effects do not activate during this damage check. Alright, not bad, dealing damage for a hefty cost, and without attacking mind you. But it's nothing too special, I really doubt people are going to really play this unless there's a deck centric around it. Which will most likely be overlord deck, and this can always be teched in an overlord deck as well, so there's that as well. And speaking of Overlord, is this guy wearing Dragonic Overlord armor? I mean, it looks kind of weird for Dragonic Overlord armor. And then we get to the new critical triggers. All of them have abilities and they all do the same thing. Where, Auto Rearguard, at the end of the battle that this unit boosted, costs, put this to soul, choose one of your units, it gets plus 2k power in the end turn. Well, you're going to be playing these new crits regardless because if you're going to be playing crits, you might just play them with abilities. And then when it comes to premium standpoint, I could see these crits being played on non-G heavy decks. 
because the crits for G that puts his soul to draw a card and you give 10k power, those require generation break 1. So if you're not going to be focusing on your strides, you might just play these. But hey, new crits are crits, especially with abilities. So that's it for this stream, nothing too special. We just now got a third critical trigger for overdress and a new overlord promo. But on that, have a nice day.